Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Long time no see, and uh, I'm back at it again with another video. Uh, this one is a little bit different from uh, what I usually do. What you're looking at here is just me at a warehouse where they sell used CNC VMCs. And I'm just looking at some of the big boys that they have. Here's a VF5, here's a Daewoo, uh, that's a... Uh, here's that's that's a lathe these are the big boys i can't fit these big boys in my garage so i have to settle with a smaller one and here's the small one that i got this is a fadal emc is the very first machine that i bought uh 20 inch uh x-axis y 16 inch y-axis and a 20 inch z-axis and as you can see I had to hire a very nice, very big rigging company to come get a very small machine. And here it is, making its way out of the warehouse and onto the road. Oh my goodness, look at that. Whose machine is that? That's. It made the trip okay. Uh, the spindle cover, as you can see, came off of it. But that's not a problem. This is so exciting. Just every process of this, buying the machine, hiring hiring the rigger, even watching the rigger come and load the machine and then bring it into the shop is all fun to see. And the machine is a beautiful machine, man. I love it. I love how these CNC machines just look and how they operate. It's amazing. And uh, it's cool, man. It's super cool. Outside of that, I bought this, I'm going to be candid, I bought this for, uh, let me see if I can remember, $7,200, okay, and I got a good deal, that's a good deal for uh, Fadal EMC, it's 2004 and that's a good deal, I promise you that's a good deal, however, uh, this video was taken two months ago, and uh, currently, I am replacing the bearings on the x-axis and that has costed me fourteen hundred dollars so this machine in total is going to cost me eighty six hundred dollars if my math is correct which uh, it may not be but that's okay eighty four eighty six hundred dollars for a VMC not a problem as uh, and it's a simple machine it's light a lot of the hardware you can take care of yourself um, and also a bonus when I opened up the cabinet the electronics cabinet guess what a brand new spanking CPU card was sitting right there that thing is about twelve thirteen hundred dollars brand new so if I ever had to replace the old one I've just saved myself thirteen hundred dollars not a bad deal at all not a bad deal at all putting it on jacks and dollies so that we can manually push it because you know uh i don't have a forklift yet so we got to do things the way that we know how to do them watch your fingers pops slow down young fella is what he's saying slow it down young fella easy easy let's get it done boys oh here we go put put your back into it put your back into it man look at that young fella on the right my god super saiyan 2 gotta get it moving that's what i'm talking about man don't underestimate the boy i've done i've done a lot of sanding in my life okay i got muscles the boy got natural bound muscles i don't have to go to the gym for these muscles boy look at that you see that i moved that like it was a ups box come on that's a 500 pound crate and I turned that thing like it was nothing. You got to appreciate the boys muscles. Look, look at this goddamn specimen. Look at that specimen. Get, 
He's, that's five, six, seven thousand pounds, boy. It looks beautiful. My goodness. Obviously, we, we need to clean it up a little bit and remove some of the surface rust, but. Mm hmm. The spindle. Mm hmm. Look at that. Belt driven? Is that bad or good? The run out, very, very good. 16 tool carousel. I don't even have to do tool changes, my goodness. All right. Mechanically, it's uh, very good from the inspection report that I received. I can't wait to use this. You're gonna switch your axes for jogging. And then we could change the step. Just point 10, point zero 0.01. Go over here. That's tough. I don't even know how they do that one. Oh, if you wanna see the difference between a commercial industrial machine and a machine you build yourself, here is a stepper motor for, this is a NEMA 20, NEMA 23, 425 ounces, right? Take a look at this, right? This is what people use, they buy kits, CNC kits off eBay or Amazon. And this is like the standard, you could get bigger, obviously. But check this one out. Look, look at the size difference. This is, this is an infant compared to this guy. Look at him. Look at this. Not even close. My goodness. What have I been doing? That's it for procuring the machine. I'm looking forward to learning this machine and learning how to use it with you guys. Stay tuned.